Hi everyone and welcome to Billy Fitzgerald Golf and today we're going to talk about controlling the flight of your golf ball. Now the last two episodes we talked about grip and then controlling the face and what it's doing. Now that is imperative that we make sure that those things are right so we have a chance at controlling the flight of the ball. We pretty much have to put the gear in neutral and I'll explain what that means now. So the first thing we need to do is go over the grip again. So your lead hand, how to get your lead hand grip. It's biomechanics, just let your, your left arm hang so there's, there's no tension in it. For me, you can see it, it goes into a pretty strong position. Well, that is neutral for me. So when you grip the club, you want it in your fingers, so just in the fingertips, and let it, let it wrap around the top of the grip. Now, with my, my backhand or my, my trail hand, I'm gonna, it's gonna go right on the side of the grip so it matches the face. So you can see this, the little valley in my palm, it's gonna fit right into my thumb. That sits about one o'clock on the grip. Okay, so if, you, if you're looking down and, and you think about it, your lead hand is moving this way and your trail hand is moving the other way. And that's how they need, need to work. So now when I turn this way, put my lead hand on, put my trail hand on, all of a sudden we're looking at square. So the face is square when it matches my spine. Again, if I simply just put the, put the club into the golf ball, if I get here and put the club into the ball without any twisting or timing, the ball will go straight. So that's why it's square. And if you look at my lead hand again, when it matches my spine, you can see that that is neutral. So neutral face, neutral spine, neutral grip. So finally, if I just make a swing and my hand moves towards the target, that's considered neutral or a straight ball. We don't wanna to have to flip it or time it to make it go straight because then our trail hand is always trying to do that in order to make the ball go straight. And again, it would, it would almost be like if I was shooting a basketball and I had to twist my arm to make it go straight. There's too many variables in that. When, if my hand twists, I want to make sure that because of that, the ball is going to respond to that. So left, right, up, down, which bring me, brings me to my next point. One of the most complicated things about controlling the face is the face is way down here and my hands are up here. Okay? Again, the face controls the golf ball and my hands control the face of the club. So my hands better be on the grip right and I better have a, a pretty good idea of what square is or what a straight shot is. So, if I take the, a face of the club and I put it in my right hand, assuming my grip is right and assuming that I know what square is, which I've just explained, now my right hand, because of how it is on the grip, has got control over the face. So, for instance, if I want to hit it high, if I want to hit it low, if I want to hit it to the right, to the left, now I can feel what's going on with the face of the club. To better see that, again, if we're playing ping pong or pickleball, wherever I put the face of the club is where my ball's gonna go. Now, that only happens if my grip is right and I understand what square is with the face. If my grip is, if my grip is very weak and I think that that is square, my right hand is constantly going to trying to be squaring the face so it's going to be very hard and difficult to, to have control over my golf ball. Now the one thing if you're not used to the left hand or the lead hand being in this position you will feel that your right hand almost automatically doesn't want to do that anymore so just by having the lead hand in the right position it starts to train the right hand what to do. So. What I would suggest is start to get, make some swings and feel how the face goes from square to square to square to square. So I start to feel how there's no twisting in the shot. Now we talk about ball flight. We'll get into this and in, into the short game later. But if I want to make my golf ball go low, again with my right hand, my knuckles are going to trail. If it's going to go a medium height, my knuckles will show up just behind my wrist joint or a little bit higher shot, my knuckles will actually already pass my wrist joint. So 
this has nothing to do with flipping. If I swing the face back and forth, back and forth, that is not a flip. All that does is tell me what kind of trajectory I'm gonna get with the golf ball. It's still gonna go straight because the face is moving towards the target. A flip is when the face gets behind us or it's wide open and we have to flip or twist the face to try to catch it up, to square it, to make it go somewhere along where our target line's going. So now I've got three balls set up. The first one I'm gonna hit left, the second one I'm gonna hit right, and the third one I'm gonna hit straight. So this gives us finally a chance to feel what my right hand is doing and how it's controlling the face. Now that I know what square is, and now that I can feel what my right hand is and should be controlling the face. So the first one will get up. The first one I'll hit it left. So I'll make a, a swing, come down, and feel like my right hand passes over a little bit more. Okay, now the second one will hit, which is right. So I'll take my swing, swing it back down to square, and feel the face open. see the motion of my hand on the way through. Now the third one I'll hit straight. So my hand will get down to impact and go right towards the target. So again, up, down to square, towards the target. So hopefully this helps you consider what's going on with the golf ball, how to hit it high, left, right. Again, how that entails your grip is right and that you know what square is. So hopefully this video helps and I'll see you on the golf course. Like and subscribe to my channel, Billy Fitzgerald Golf, for all tips on golf.